Okay, this is a quick video about the calibration of the Disto X. Okay, perfect. Up here in the upper right corner, you see that there's shots in memory, so you have to clear the memory by holding down the units and the clear button until it's off. This is all in the directions. And you have to turn on calibration mode by holding down clear and the, the triangle button for three seconds. All right, I'm using the handle on the back and this is my survey jig. It's made out of PVC pipe. Vertical and horizontal sections are each 24 inches long. This requires two 90 degree elbows, a three-way, a three-way, and then two T's, two T's, and then there are short uh, pieces of PVC that attach this to here. I'll break it down later. Uh, and then, but that's all measured to fit. So there's holes drilled in all the sides. Uh, I will be using a Motorola uh, Droid Razor smartphone to do the actual calibration, but uh, this is the method for it. So once you have the <clears throat> calibration mode turned on, make sure you don't have a phone, uh, keys, watches, anything metallic. Uh, blue jeans I've found are okay. So first you gotta do horizontal, front sight, back sight with a 90 degree roll of each shot, which means one, two, three, four. Okay, so you do front sight, back sight on front, back, left, right, up, down, and then you turn the jig 45 degrees and do all diagonals. So just pay attention and watch. main thing is to sit down and be comfortable. That way you can steady the disto. Um, 12 shots. Now I can do the ups and downs. Doing the down shots and the downward angles, I always bring my knees up to help stabilize so I can hold it steady. I'm also, for the sake of speeding this video up, I'm using a two second timer. Now I've done the front, the back, the left, the right, the up, the down. Now, I turn the jig 45 degrees, and now I do the diagonal. Again, knees up, helps to stabilize. One set of diagonals. And again, I'm really just trying to speed this up for the sake of the video.
but I generally always do these in my backyard. Uh, ideally, this would be done in a cave, but uh, it's just easier to calibrate these. calibration uh, error then you simply got a really good calibration the lowest that I've ever gotten with this is a point one two So that's that. So now, we'll turn Bluetooth on. Again, the instructions to do all this are in the manual. But for those of you who, you know, don't, uh, have access to it, Figured it'd be nice to include it. So, all these distos, let's see, I'm using CRF disto number one, hit the gear, new calibration. I just give them random names because it doesn't matter at the end of the day, and I hit the check mark. And then I hit the upper left arrow to start downloading. Usually it happens on the first couple tries. And you'll know it starts downloading when the data shots start coming in. Or counting down, I'm sorry. Uh, one thing to keep in mind, again, while you're using the jig, the key is really just to be as comfortable as possible so you can sit steady sit still. Next, once the down data is downloaded, hit the one, two, three button, group the data by four, and then you hit the gear to crunch the data. Now this is a pretty horrible calibration, uh, 0.78, but to give you an idea of what I would usually have done here, um, well, it's actually hard to find. But here's a decent one. This was done at the house. 0.1398 max error. So, just so you know, that's how I use this PVC jig. Again, the vertical and horizontal sections are 24 inches long. And I have it glued together to be able to take it apart. So I have this section, and I have this section. So when it's taken apart, it lays flat, and you throw it in the back of your truck. It doesn't take up any room. Enjoy.